Hey, how's it going? And welcome along. I'm Rory from Ramatime, and welcome to Satisfactory version 1.0. This is my playthrough, and we are on episode 11, which is all really cool. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, I well recommend going back and having a look to see how we got to where we are now. We're quite far. We've still got a long way to go, but we've we've done you know a fair a fair bit so far. And uh, yeah, I've got some exciting news for you. So I am over at the original plastics factory that I made a while back and obviously it's still a mess it's still pretty horrible it needs turning into a proper building which I will do at some point but anyway I've come over here because I've done something kind of cool now I have built a mini train station that's not a mini train station it's just a train station <laughs> but it's so that I can bring some of the gear that we're making over here back to the main base this is one of my favorite things about this is seeing the conveyor belts like this. When you have all of these things all moving along lovely, it just looks so cool. I just love it. The way it all shifts along, I mean, that one's quite special, but whatever. It's amazing, right? I love this. But yeah, what I'm doing is I've got some turbo fuel here. No, I haven't. That's not even true. This is, <laughs> this is heavy oil residue because this factory seems to just be making slightly more than it needs. So I thought, do you know what? I'll bring some back to the main base and I can probably use it there. I'll turn it into fuel there and uh, we can use it for something um, over at the main base. But I'm also bringing across the turbo fuel, the smokeless powder, the rubber, the plastic and the... I can't even remember what you call this now. Oh, just black powder. So I'm bringing all of that back to the main base now. However, I say I'm bringing it. I haven't run the train station yet. So, we need to head back to the main base in order to set up the train to come over here and collect all this wonderful gear. So let's use my favorite way of returning back to the main base. Because it gets us here pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you... I can't remember if I even covered this in the last episode. I'm pretty sure I did, right? I built this building <laughs> off to the side. Yeah, I did. I think I just didn't come around from this angle, but yeah, that's quite a cool big iron building up there for making iron stuff. And yeah, we've got our we've got our simple area over here that's not super simple. I keep calling things simple. I don't know why. I, I, I'm simple today, but yeah, we've obviously we've got our beautiful, beautiful area like this for um, all the storage. This is probably the only bit that, that is actually looking kind of how I want it. Everything else is still under construction. But down here, check out what I've made. It's the startup of a train station. At the moment, the design is kind of weird, right? Because what I've done, I just thought to make it more interesting, I would sink it into the ground. So forget the, the fact that they're there. They're just there as, as, as placeholders for spacing. And um, this train station is called Tim. I am going to name all of my train stations after something specific. Well, it's it's characters from a program, and I'm not going to tell you what. I'm going to let you tell me in the comments. Anyway, um, this train station is called Tim, and like I say, yeah, it comes in in here, and then uh, over at the other end, we've kind of got a bit of a ramp going out. Ultimately, I need to clean this up a bit still, but ultimately, what I want to do here is have a kind of a, a gated area so that trains come in and out and go in and out of gates and stuff. We need to set this up to go and actually collect some stuff and we can go for a little ride. So, train menu, Q, edit the timetable. Right, so we've got two stations, Tim and Daisy. So we're going to press plus on the Tim and we're going to press plus on the Daisy. And I've got to, I've got to remember how you do all of this. Right, so we want, yeah, so we're going to go with that. Plus wait, 15 seconds is absolutely fine. And save that. Um, yeah, and that's fine at the other end. Do I have to set... I do have to do this. I did. I haven't done this. Um, so I have to tell it that these are all unload. Front one over at the other end is a, um, a liquid. So I need to actually come out here. I don't know. Is this going to get the ump? It is, because there's a train on there. L does it let me get rid of that and then get rid of that? It does. So now let's transport fluid. I hope this is all just going to work. Ah, in the way. Oh, look at that. It does. Oh, it's, see, this game is just so good. Everything just works. All right, so unload. That's good. Right, so that is going to be ready. Yep. Okay. All right, good. So now it's, it's I think, 
we're actually good to go. So we can jump back into our train and we can go to our train menu and we can... No stops in timetable. Edit timetable. Oh, I must have not saved it. Save. There we go. Turn on self-driving. And now... Ah... Uh, I spoke too soon. Turn off self-driving. What a mistake to make. Right. Okay. So I get rid of the cars and I'm going to add them on again. Right, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I believe I can actually put another one on the back right and then it goes just that little bit quicker. Make sure it's facing this way because we're, we're only going to be going forwards. We're not doing a, a back and forward run here because at the moment we've only got the one train. So right now we'll try again. Turn on self-driving. There we go. So this is fun. This is my first time using the choo-choo <laughs> to uh, to go out. Oh, that's one of the things I'm starting to do. Any uh, pylons I've got out in the wild, I've built that as a blueprint just to um, make them look a little bit neater. Right. Exactly as I always say, this is just temporary. When I come up with a, a proper blueprint or something for my railway system, I'll go round and I'll change a lot of this out, get it all off the ground. I do quite like this route though, it's, it's kind of nice because it kind, it kind of follows a path until we get to around about here and then it goes a little bit off piste <laughs> Woohoo! I do love that when you see the train behind you following you it's so good and there we go we're coming down to our factory which will look really good once it's uh, once it's turned into an actual building down and in and hopefully this all just works without any real effort <laughs> docking Okay, so it didn't just work. Apparently station is unreachable. Now I'm not sure what I've done wrong, so we're going to drive manually back. And go and find out where the issue lieth. Because we should be able to join back here. Yeah. I've just realised, yeah. It is unreachable because I didn't put an in. So I've got one in and one out. I've come out of the in in a loop so I'm trying to get it to go back in through the inn so now of course it's not going to work silly me honestly though the trains in this game are so cool like I don't know it's just, it's just so cool I mean the model is amazing the way it's designed and all of that the way it pulls stuff around the animation the way it moves everything about the train is super super cool in this game I've so nailed it right ah ah stop slow 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 oh I'm I am breaking I'm really, really breaking hard. I was distracted by the beauty of the train. From there, that's where we'll try and go. There we go. Why are you starting on me? I'm busy. Okay, so now in theory, if I get back in the train, go to here and turn on self-driving, it will go on to Tim. Brilliant. Go. We haven't unlocked signals yet, so we're not doing anything with signals. We're keeping it nice and simple. It's just to bring those plastics and fuel and so on over to the main base because we will have a use for them very soon. And the train is pulling into the station. Now, we don't have all of this connected to upstairs yet. That is the next job to do. But I just wanted to get it running. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this fuel yet as well. And it's not fuel, is it? It's um, 
heavy oil residue. Going to do something with it. I'm going to send it off somewhere and, and do, do something with it. Maybe have a little tiny power plant somewhere that just runs an ordinary fuel converter from it. There we go. Boom. And now my train should go off and get the next lot. Perfect. That is brilliant. That's a really good start. So next will be to start getting these up into the bins upstairs. Because at the moment it's a little bit paltry with uh, just three things coming into this incredible storage bin. Right. Well, that's that set up to be functional anyway. All I need to do is literally connect the last bits of the belts and we can watch it all flood in. So here, this tube, to be fair, we're not really going to see anything. So I might as well just connect it. And that's just now going to be filling up. So that's fine, that's gonna do its thing. No problem, no problem. Tell you what though, I am gonna swap that out for one of those ones so, so we can see the pumpiness going on. Cause that's kind of cool, right? Now, next, it's just to connect all of these up and start seeing it all whizzing in. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, it's all whizzing in. We now need to get upstairs, pretty sharpish. Now starting to come up my wall lift, which I will dress nicely and make look lovely at some point. Comes up here and then it goes off into all the bins. I tell you what, the new smart mode, no straight mode, sorry, of putting up belts is the best thing in the world ever. It is so good. Right, stuff's on its way. We've got to go to the door. Quick, quick, ah, I've jumped too far. There we go because we're going to start seeing stuff appearing here. I don't know which one's going to come first. It's exciting. It's over there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> ah, it might not seem like a big deal or a lot, but that's a, that's quite a, that's quite an achievement to get to this stage again. <laughs> I feel like anyway, now to slowly fill up and hopefully at the back, we can set up some of the uh, the depots so that we can just have it all going into the cloud. Because, yep, it is just working exactly as I want. It's splitting them nicely. And there we go. It's in. It's working. The overflows are actually working. Because, yeah, all of that stuff will go down, go down the end and stop. Because I haven't got a sink yet. But when I have a sink, this is all very good. They're all Mark 1 lifts, though, so I am going to need to upgrade those. Oh, I've managed to do it the whole way down the line as well. Uh... And I've now just got myself stuck inside a, a dimensional depot uploader. Um, and while the view is very cool, it's not much good because I'm completely stuck, so I'm going to have to respawn. Which wakes me up in my uh, my office, which I haven't been in a while. This is really good. We've made some real mega progress today already. And to be fair, we've only just kind of really started. Oh, I love my base. So what have we got to do? What? Well, well we've got to we've got to do something with copper. There's some, there's a couple of copper nodes just down there. So I want to do something with those. I also found just over there when I was running the train station, there is literally four normal iron nodes. So I could get quite a lot of iron out of that. Especially considering that that whole one up there is running off a, what is it, four impure nodes? I could make a big old factory over there doing something. I think I did this as well in my off time. I've kind of built this area up a little. And it's it's got a tractor. Uh, not it's not a tractor. It's a truck that very slowly brings concrete from there up into my bins over here. <laughs> it's it's mega slow because of the fact that I tried to design it to have lots of ins, and then realised I'd really overestimated the uh, the scale. So I um yeah I'm gonna be changing all of this. But it just gets the it gets the concrete up the top here for where I needed it for a bit. <laughs> so if we keep running over there grabbing more. <laughs> look at him go, look. That is Captain Slow, isn't it? On to the next thing. What was I saying? Yeah, so we've got Oh, here comes the train. Woohee! We've got um more iron to do. I want to build a manufacturer here in the mega base. I want like a couple of manufacturers that builds um computers for me. And it'll probably be on one of the... Uh, maybe not on that level. Oh, perhaps down here. Yeah, I might raise this slightly. But we've got a big old... Manufacturer. I've run out of fuel. I've got nothing in my inventory. Oh, when I respawned, I must have left everything behind. Oh, wow, okay. Anyway, so what I was saying was... I've got to think about this because I want to start making these. I want to do the next stage of the uh, of the space elevator. So we've got to start making these. So 
we need mo we've got the rubber now we've got rubber coming in and here we've got for, to make these yeah this one's going to be a bit more complicated because we need a load more of these other bits so i need to make those factories that are making those things first really Urgh. so i might make a dedicated heavy frames factory i don't know about those i can't remember um how do i how do i see these circuit boards ah see that that will come after my copper factory and now that I'm getting plastic over here, I can do that over here as well. It doesn't have to be mega quick. We've got those being made over at the original base. But again, I've got everything I need to do that here as well. Like I say, I might build a dedicated factory just for heavy modular frames, just because they're a bit of a nightmare. And computers, well, because of the fact that they use the circuit boards. Yeah, yeah so really, circuit boards have got to be my next priority. Which means the copper factory has to be my next priority. I love that. When you're working away in a manufacturer and you turn around and suddenly it's daytime. <laughs> this all seems to be working nicely still. We'll dress this up, make this look really cool soon. Right, well I've made a bit of a start. Let's just have a look. Uh, what are we talking about here? Yeah, the copper factory. <laughs> That's the one. The copper factory is going to be coming out of here. And down here... There are three normal copper nodes, so we'll have a very small building here that sends the copper down these belts here. And then the copper factory will come out of this hole in the ground. One of the things I've done is I've turned off fog just for the moment because it was making it quite hard to see. Because when you go down there, it goes a bit foggy. But I thought this is going to look really cool from up here if the building is kind of coming out of this... Floor. And there's going to be quite a lot of buildings in here. Because we have the three belts of 300, because these are normal nodes, fully overclocked, that's 900 will be coming in, which will go into 30 smelters here on the bottom floor, which will then go up a floor to um, 30 constructors, which will be creating, I think it's 900 copper wire per minute then there'll be eight constructors coming off the back of that which will convert 450 copper wire into 240 cables per minute then there will be 23 constructors that are making 230 copper sheets per minute so all of that will then be coming out of here but by the time i've built all of that i think it will it will be a building that kind of arches out a little bit i want to try and make it look cool i've put these pillars just to give a kind of idea because when you Come and stand up here. Yeah, I think it's just going to look really smart. And if I can, I want to kind of try and incorporate this as a garden area. I might not, but you never know. So I've purposefully not destroyed the trees there. But down here on the level right down the bottom, for fun, I have left this <laughs> here so that I can try and dress in the waterfall. Not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll figure out a way. And here I am... I've started my kind of design for a 4x4 four four smelting array. Like I said, I've got to get 30 in here, so I thought, well, I'll just set up something that I can spam out, but I want to try and make it look pretty and nice. So I've kind of come up with this design. It's still in progress. I'm still trying to work on it. Half my splitters are facing the wrong way. I've got to think about this. And then you've got lights under here. So when you kind of walk down a lot of them, it should look pretty good. Obviously, I need to spread these out, the 30, across 10. So it'll be 10 smelters dealing with each one of those belts and i need to try and either fit them all on this floor down here or i need to do them over a couple of levels but i want to try and get all of this down onto one floor but i'm still working on this and and yeah like i say i've made i've made some mistakes because the splitters are you know half of them are facing in the wrong direction yeah see that one's wrong it's it's no good i kind of forget myself i start just spamming stuff down and then realize oh yeah I got that wrong. Yeah, I've literally I've put these all around the wrong way, so I've got to refix all of this. So yeah, I've got I've got loads to do, and I thought this might be quite nice because I can possibly incorporate this. I might have this coming out here and then round the back maybe, so that you can have a walkway to walk around and have this all as part of the blueprint. Yeah, that then I would lose that, and then that would it would scale. It needs some thinking a boot. <laughs> This is all the stuff I love. Should I do more with it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I need to get back to it. I need to sit and have a play. I need to come up with something better. So let's see what we can do. There we go. It's not super, super special, but it's kind of nice. It's interesting enough, I think. So what will happen is we feed in here and it will feed out the, uh, the smelters, which then extract two belts underneath 
there and there. And it's all accessible, and it looks kind of cool. There'll be a little gap between each batch, just to add a bit of texture so it's not just all big long line. And it's all fully navigatable, because I plan to use these in other places as well. There'll be places where there are, you know, probably hundreds of these coming up, but for now, this is a good little starting point. Let's just have a quick look at our surroundings. I mean, we've got all this space. I want to get three batches of ten. So let's just have a little think here. So if one of these, I've got to think as well. I've got to make sure we're always going the right way. So that pushes away. So that's fine. Oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? Right. Obviously, everything just looks weird at the moment because I'm just working in a big hole. But like I said, I'm going to dress this into a building at at some point, and I know that should actually be the tagline for this uh, series, isn't it? Eventually, at some point, we'll do this, and at some point, we'll do that. <laughs> I do like this, though. This is a cool... This is a cool thing, this is. But, look, we've got all of these. I've now just got to figure out a way of getting... And I definitely, I did it wrong. I should have done the inputs on the single line. On the, Yeah, I should have done the inputs on the bottom lines. I never get it right, do I? <laughs> I brought down three belts of 300, I figured that's really easy to divide up. And then because I stupidly built my array in uh, eights and couldn't be bothered to change it, I've just ended up creating 32. So I now need to divide my three between the 32 in order to get a very clean output. But I've done it, I've done it. It comes in here, it follows along this wall here, it comes around here, and it comes over to this contraption, which is my three into four load balancer. I'm rather proud of this. It looks complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. It basically just splits each one evenly across four mergers, which all come out into four lanes there. <laughs> it looks like a proper spaghetti junction, but I, I like it. There's, there's, there's something rather beautiful about it. You know, I've managed to get it symmetrical as well. So yeah, I think that's kind of cool. I just really hope it works. <laughs> I think it will work. I have it, Obviously, I haven't tried it. I haven't turned it on. But in my mind it works. So anyway, so they now come out of there. And then obviously I had to do something with the four. So I've just made a very simple system. So it spreads it out across each group. So it will supply all eight of my smelters. Which will be making the copper ingots. 30 per minute. So that's 120 per batch. And because of the fact that obviously I'm, I'm slightly underfeeding these. It will just essentially give me two completely full 480 belts from here and from here. They will head upstairs. And upstairs will be where the constructors start happening. Now I know it's not looking very elegant at the moment, but it's like I said, I've got to somehow turn this into a building that you enter and you walk around and you go downstairs and you visit all of this. There's a, oh, honestly, there's so much to do in here. It's ridiculous. I've got this big space over here as well that I feel like I need to do something with. I do like this walk. I do like walking down here. You see these bars which will all be nice and green eventually on to the next bit if i do start moving the mouse around too much feel free keep telling me off until i get it into my brain to remember to not do it anyway so we've made some uh, progress should we head down and have a look so this is our new building it's a bit foggy down here i'm just going to turn the fog off for a second so we press tile r dot fog off. There we go. It doesn't look as pretty, but we can see. <laughs> and that's the important thing for the moment. Because check this out. Right. So what we've built, if we go down a bunch of layers. Ow. So obviously we already covered this and the fact that that goes off, gets balanced out, goes into the smelter. And then we basically get two belts. They're not actually 480 because of the limitation. They are 450 in each. So 450 copper, which is fine. It's it's It's... It could be more, but it's absolutely fine. But now, what we do, and this is where it starts to get a bit complicated, so I had to just put some labels so that I remember which is which. So coming up here, we've got copper ingots to this way, which gets distributed into these first set of um, constructors, which are doing my wire for me. And there is... how many? This many. There's 16. Now, I only want 15, so what I've done is I've underclocked the last two to be half, so that effectively gives me 15 without it looking ugly and, and unbalanced. That will give me a line of copper wire going up, and then we head up to the next floor. And on here, we are doing basically the same thing again. But now we have 
two belts of copper wire going up. So now onto the next level, 24 constructors that are turning that other belt of ingots into copper sheets. Again, it's the same as the last one. There's actually um, only needs to be 22, but just for um, the blueprint and for, you know, to make it look pretty, I went with 24 and I underclocked the last. Plus, I also, I thought I'd do this one slightly differently so it bends round. So this will add a nice bit of texture to the, uh, the building and make it look a bit different. And then finally, on the top level here, we have one of those belts providing the, uh, uh, the copper wire, which is being turned into cables. So that means we will have three belts coming out of here. One's going to be cables, one's going to be sheets, and one's going to be copper wire. The idea is to get all of them flowing down and across and over to here. And this is where I still have a lot of work to do. And there'll be a truck stop there. Well, I say there'll be a truck stop. I'm going to build three truck stops so that I can have one truck per thing. And then these are gonna come up to here. I'm going to redesign this area here to make it a bit more clean and move this out of the way. They will come all the way up here. And then I'm gonna redo this area. I've gotta make it basically three times the size so that the trucks actually have room to turn and don't get hit into one another. And then there will be four truck stops here and that will be bringing all that stuff up. So isn't that cool? I'm well excited. I wanna get it built, I wanna get it working. So that's what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna turn it on and see if I actually got it right first time because I haven't turned it on yet. So it's quite exciting, quite exciting indeed. A few people, by the way, have suggested that they would love to see more detailed um, videos of the builds. This is really tricky for me to do just because of how busy I am. I dip in and out, I don't always know when I'm gonna get in. I am thinking about it, I'm gonna try and figure out a way. But it would help me if you are interested in seeing more, leave it in the comment, give me as much feedback as you can and that'll help me guide on what I do with the channel. Anyway, so let's connect these up. So that gets these running, so we'll get our belts full at any moment. And here we go. We have stuff coming in. So that's gonna head down here. It's quite a long way to go. It's gonna come around this way. Then it's gonna go up my wall here. Then it's gonna go into my crazy balancer, which like I say, I still haven't even tested yet. I don't know 100% if this works. It works in my brain. Whether it really works or not, I don't know. But it should look cool. And that should give us an even four out. Which then means that all goes and gets distributed. It looks like it is working. Then that goes from that goes from balanced into manifold. <laughs> so I'm, this is a proper hybrid system in here. And then any minute... Oh, no, we haven't connected any of this stuff up. Silly me. I've got to connect this power pole. I'm just going to put it into this. Again, power is still on the list as something to get resolved. There we go, right? Okay, good. One side's working. Why is the other side not? Spot the bug. There we go. Wow, everything's now working. There we go, nice green lights. And we can see stuff moving, so stuff is now coming up. And if we head into here, we've got our wire being made. So that's doing as I expect. This matches this. That's good. So let's go up another level. Okay, so that's going up and that matches as well, I think. Yep, so that's doing what it should and we've got a bunch of lights there, that's all good. Okay, next level. Okay, that's distributing out. Oh, I haven't actually put an out on this, but they're making the sheets, so that's good. Look at that, that's beautiful, there we go. Right, so they're now heading up. Obviously they don't go anywhere, but it's doing what I expect. So that's really good. And then up onto the top level, this is where cables should be coming out, which it is excellent. Now what I did want to double check is that this is all working all the way along. Again, this is manifolded, so it will take a while for these guys at the end here to start working. Yep, there it goes, yep, and then in. Right, good. So yeah, so that's all working. So there, oh wow, I actually got it pretty much right first time. There was one cable not connected. So that's all now working. So now I need to find a way to get everything over. It needs to come over to this corner here. And I'm thinking about doing something inside of the design, you see, because it's quite an interesting looking shape, this building. It won't be quite as tall as, as this. It's gonna be kind of nice the way it comes up here. So I'm thinking that maybe the all the stuff goes across here in a nice visible way somehow. But yeah, it's not absolutely 100% efficient. It's pretty much right, but it's, it's going to be making the stuff that I need locally to the main factory and pulling it all in up that road and then over to there. So I'm very happy with it. Here comes the train. Choo choo. Yeah, I need to do something about that as well. That needs to get all converted into a proper train. <laughs> train tracks type situation. Excellent. Right, okay, well we'll let this all just fill up because obviously it's not unloading. 
it actually probably shouldn't take too long to fill up. But I'm going to get on with the unloading before I connect it all up. Try and get all this road stuff built over here. Plenty to do, plenty to do. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so that is now done. It's all ready. I've set up that over there. So everything comes up the top here, goes across these belts here, down there, and it goes under there. So it gets buffered into this, these storage containers first. Not really ready for any real reason other than why not. And then it goes under there. And I thought, for a change, I'm going to run it underneath. <laughs> so it runs under there. And then it gets distributed across these three truck stops, which are all ready and waiting to go. I haven't set the waypoints, but I'll do all of that once I get it running. Yeah, that is kind of cool, right? So this is my setup. I went a bit mad with the arrows. I'll refine that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the plan, is that stuff comes down there, goes around there, and then in there. And I need to refine all of this area and make it look smarter, but that'll have a decoration in the middle. It'll be beside the big machine, machine? Big building there. It'll all look very cool. As I say, this I need to still adjust, and then everything will come up here to, uh, like I say, this will be a big depot. I've got to expand this quite drastically. It's, yeah. I was miles out with my setup, and that's why this guy here, <laughs> look at the speed he moves. Because otherwise he just doesn't get round the corner in time. He's very cautious. Let me think. Um, I want to just get it running for now, before I start worrying about all the guy up there, all the, uh, the stuff. And yeah, I think the arrows are probably a bit overkill. I might lose them. <laughs> Let's connect it. Here, we connect this for the sheets. We connect this for the cable, and we connect that for our wire. Love it. So they will come down here. Oh, I've got some Mark 1 lifts in here, the mix somewhere. There they are. <laughs> the speed that's going to take them to go down there. They come to here, and I've kind of hidden this behind here, because it's a little, it's not particularly bad. I mean, I've got much worse in the rest of the factory, but there we go. That that looks nice. And that goes off. So we'll get uh, wire in the first one, cables in the second, and sheets in the third. And my tractors are all ready to start receiving the load. But obviously I don't want to program those until I've got all of this up here sorted out. Oh, these arrows are terrible, aren't they? <laughs> I didn't realise how bad they were. It's not until you kind of fly up above it. When you're down there, it doesn't seem so bad. All of this still needs to be dressed, though. And it's, it's a job I'm putting off. <laughs> That's where, where I might do a live stream and... Just do a mad dressing session and just make everything pretty. Um, obviously, I've still got to dress this building in, um, which I think is going to look really cool, actually. It'd be the way it comes up out of the ground. It should look really interesting. And there we go. That is the copper factory up and running. That's another big step done. So there you go. I think we'll call it for this video because I don't know. I feel like I've been working on this for ages. It's, it's not even that big a deal, but that is one thing is it, as the, the factory gets more and more busy and stuff becomes more complicated it is going to take me longer to put the videos together and uh yeah i think this one was this, this has been quite a long one i think i won't know until i fully edited it but yeah i think i might be rambling now anyway so in the next episode we will look at um getting this all a bit more finished off getting that all up and running we're gonna unlock something else hopefully because we're gonna start getting the electric circuit boards uh up and running which is a, a big milestone for us here comes the train and I just love the fact that there is now a train just whizzing around doing its own thing while I'm talking. I just love it. So quick self-promotion. I hope you don't mind, but in case you weren't aware, I've actually made a game. It's called Who is Abby? And it's a first-person adventure kind of point-and-click puzzle game. If you happen to like those, I have put a link in the description as well as a little card at the top there. And if you fancy checking that out, I'd love you forever. <laughs> But yes, anyway, that's enough of, of that. If you did enjoy this video, please remember, hit that like button. And of course, if you aren't subscribed, clicking subscribe is great. And pressing the little bell will let you know when I put up a new video. And yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed it. So as always, bye for now.